Hello and welcome to your English news broadcast live on Air TV. It's exactly 10:30 p.m. on Air's local time from our headquarters at Asmara with your domestic and international news in brief. I'm Zahra Badouri, but first we'll begin with your major headlines for this hour. An announcement from the Ministry of Health. Support to families of marriages and more. On your international, 1.17 Kenyan troops killed in a military helicopter crash. Czech Republic, deadly tornado sweeps through villages. On your reports in brief, 56 patients have been diagnosed positive for COVID-19 and tests carried out today at quarantine centers in the central, Ansaba and southern regions, respectively, as your primary domestic. Out of these, uh, 39 patients are from quarantine centers in Asmara region, in Asmara central region. Nine patients are from quarantine centers in Karan, Ansaba region. Eight patients are from quarantine centers in Torona, three, Mendafara, two, Maimine, one, Adqayyah, one, and Sanafa, one a southern region. On the other hand, 75 patients who have been receiving medical treatment in hospitals in the central, 63, and Ansaba, 12 regions have recovered fully and have been discharged from these facilities. The total number of recovered patients to date has accordingly risen to 5,222, while the number of deaths still stands at 21. The total number of confirmed cases in the country to date has increased to 5,720. Ministry of Health, Asmara, 25th June, 2021. Employees of the Ministry of Marine Resources and uh, Salina Salt Factory in Masawa have assumed uh, the responsibility of supporting 20 families of meritiers. At the event conducted at the Ministry of Marine Resources compound on the 23rd June, it was stated that the beneficiary families of the Maritiers are from Foro, Masawa, Ginda, and Sheb subzones. According uh, to the report, the employees of the Ministry of Marine Resources assumed the responsibility of supporting 15 families of Maritiers, while workers of Salina Salt Factory, five families of Maritiers, for one year. Mr. Smail Osman, representative of the Ministry of Labor and Social Welfare branch on his part, stating the goodwill the employees undertook is part of the initiative nationals inside the country and abroad have been undertaking, called on others in the civil service to follow the noble example. Commanding the initiative, the employees of the Ministry of Marine Resources and Salina Salt Factory undertook, Mr. Razene Adonai, secretary of the PFDJ branch in the South Northern Red Sea region called uh, for reinforced effort in ensuring the sustainability of the program. The number of families of meritiers being supported by civil servants in the northern Red Sea region has reached 150, the reports indicate. In related news, the members of the Youth Workers Organization in the southern Red Sea region contributed uh, financial and material support to 15 families of meritiers in the port city of Asip. Speaking to Irina, the chairperson of the Youth Workers Organization in the region, Mr. Ibrahim Sa stated that since last year, members of the organization have been supporting families of meritiers by raising money for their monthly salaries. In connection with the 20th uh, June uh, Maritiers Day, nationals residing in Scandinavian countries, Australia, the Netherlands and USA have made financial contribution to argument the Maritiers uh, Trust Fund and in support of families of Maritiers. According to reports, the residents residing in the Scandinavian countries, Sweden, Denmark, Norway and Finland have contributed a total number of 208,000 Norwegian coroner and 160,000 Swedish coroner. Nationals residing in various cities of Australia also contributed 29,000 
224 Australian dollars to Agumet Maritier's trust fund and have assumed the responsibility of supporting 43 families of Maritiers. Likewise, nationals residing in various cities of uh, the Netherlands contributed 26,573 euros to Agumet the Maritiers trust fund and 1,800 euros to support families of Maritiers. The Eritrean embassy in the Hugo reported. Similarly, the Eritrean community in Oakland, California, the U.S., contributed $24,750. Nationals in uh, Jockensville, Florida, $1,030. Eritrean community in San Diego, $4,539. And nationals in Atlanta and its environs, $25,000. On your final domestic, renovation of the highway linking Shambuko with Barantu that has been difficult for transportation is underway, according to reports. The renovation activity is being conducted by Bidho Construction Company and Adhalo Projects. The report indicates that so far the renovation activity linking Barantu with the Bushuka has been complete. The renovation of the road will have significant socio-economic significance in the area and in facilitating the daily activities of the residents within the area. The reports also added that in the rela in related news, the inhabitants of uh, Karkasha, Simsima, Sisima, Soda and Kona and Kulku in co collaboration with the administration of Barantu subzone have encouraged those participating at the renovation site. The renovation of Barantu Shambuko Highway is expected to be complete in the near future. Up next with your international news, do stay with us for more of your reports. And on your global report, at least 17 Kenyan soldiers were killed on Thursday when a helicopter carrying them crashed while landing near the capital Nairobi, the military and local media reported. The Kenyan Air Force MI-171E helicopter crashed at around 9 a.m. in the country of uh, Kijado, the military said in a statement. At least 17 of the troops uh, were killed and another 13 injured, domestic media reported, citing a government administrator in the area. Those who were injured uh, are airlifted uh, to the military hospitals in Nairobi for, trans for treatment, uh, the military said, adding that air accident investigators were at the scene of the crash. The soldiers abroad were on a training mission, as officials reported. On your final report, a tornado has swept through several villages in the Czech Republic, killing five people and leaving more than 150 others injured. Thursday night storms blew the roofs off buildings in the southeastern Balklav and Hodenin districts, uprooting trees and overturning cars. Winds of at least 219 kilometers per hour were recorded, and the worst hit areas were said to look like a war zone. South Maria Rovia Region Governor Jan, Jan uh, Coldrich said that it is hard to resist. Hailstones uh, the size of a tennis ball were also reported, and a local official said a string of villages had suffered considerable damage along a 25-kilometer stretch of roads heading from the Balklav to Hedonin to the northeast. In the village of uh, Valtes uh, on the other side of Balklav, Mayor Pevel Torjan said almost every building had been damaged by a bombardment of the hail. The government said around 1,000 homes had been affected and local authorities were working to provide accommodations for people whose roofs have been destroyed. Michael Bethova, a spokeswoman, uh, Michelle Bethova, a spokesman for the South uh, Meruvian Rescue Service, told Czech TV that dozens of people have been taken to hospitals by medical services. 
services. Initial reports spoke of three deaths, but Czech media later said that the number has risen to five. South Morovia, a land of unundating hills and vineyard, is not what it used to be. Rescue teams from across the country, as well as from neighboring Australia and Slovakia, have been dis- deployed and tens of thousands of people have been left without power. Prime Minister Andrew J. Babis, who is in Brussels for an EU summit, described this event, this destruction, that had happened as a, an apocalypse. Dear viewers, that is all for now with your domestic and international news in brief. Uh, let me remind you with your major headlines for this broadcast. An announcement from the Ministry of Health as your primary domestic. Support the families of Meritiers. On your international 17 Kenyan troop kill, troops killed in a military helicopter crash. And in, in the Czech Republic, a deadly tornado sweeps through villages. That is all for now. Until we are back with some more news, stay and enjoy the rest of our programs. But until then, do have a nice one.